Hi, and welcome to another Ping Plotter Cloud tutorial. My name is Tyson Worth. I'm the customer success engineer here at Pingman Tools. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use Ping Plotter Cloud for infrastructure monitoring. Now, the best support calls are the ones that you don't have to make. A great way to achieve this is by using Ping Plotter Cloud to proactively monitor your infrastructure and use alerts to be notified when network devices are headed for trouble. Clients, employees, customers, they'll all have a much better experience if you can fix problems before they even notice that anything is wrong. To get started, you'll need to create an agent that is going to be actively monitoring your infrastructure 24 seven and then deploy it. The easiest method for doing this is by using an agent template. I'll call this agent infrastructure monitor and then I'll use one of the variables machine name. Now, I'll add a few preset targets to the template since these agents will be tracing to the same endpoint every time when it's deployed. I'll do one for our VoIP provider, which is seattle2.voip.ms, one for our website, pingplotter.com. Now I'll deploy this agent to my computer and also to another machine that's at a different location. Now that I've got these traces going, I'll set up a few alerts so that I can be proactive about resolving any issues and hopefully get those issues resolved before anyone else can email in. I want to know when my connection to our VoIP provider is going to cause quality issues on my phone calls. The best way for me to be notified of this is by email. So I'll create an alert to send an email. And this certainly doesn't mean it's the best way. Be sure to check out our tutorial on alerts to get more ideas on ways to be notified. Now VoIP starts to have issues when the MOS score drops below four. So I've got this alert configured so that when MOS is below four, I'll get an email. We're gonna change the subject to agent names calls are about to go south. And I'm going to adjust the template to say, hey Tyson, agent name and the host preferred name, which is the DNS name, is experiencing some high latency. You might want to check it out. I've attached some data, but it might be easier for you to just log in. I did some formatting in here as well so that it's easy to read. I've also included a login link to Ping Plotter Cloud to make it easier for me to pull it up. This template uses basic HTML, so if you know HTML, play around with it. I'll click next and I'll give this the name LOMAS email. I'll click finish and we're all good. Now anytime the connection to my VoIP provider is having issues, I'll know right away. I also want to know when my website and cloud service are experiencing issues. For this alert, I want to receive another email. I'm going to measure latency and packet loss over time. I'll leave the values of the default setting. And now I'll name this alert high latency email. All of my targets now have an alert and Ping Plotter will let me know if anything is going wrong. With two agents watching out for trouble from different locations, I have a much better chance of seeing anything that looks like trouble. I'll be notified immediately when, not if, issues come up and hopefully resolve those issues without anyone being the wiser. One great advantage to having an agent constantly monitoring your infrastructure is you now have the ability to show prospective clients just how healthy your service is. Using LiveShare links, you can create a link to a summary report that includes any target you want and then share that link with whomever, put it on a dashboard or even on your website. To create a live share, you first need to create a new summary. I'll code this one, Uptime Reports. I'll add my monitoring targets and then use this button to create the live share. I'll call this Uptime Report. Now I could set this live share to expire on a specific date, but I'll just delete it manually later on. Hit Create and now I have the URL, which I'll open up right now. Here you can see a read-only version of my Uptime Report summary. I can see all of the data. I can open up the target window, but I can't change anything. By now, you should have a pretty good idea of how to use Ping Plotter Cloud to monitor your infrastructure. I encourage you to use alerts to help you automate your workflows and also be proactive when it comes to network troubleshooting. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at support at pingman.com. Add a comment below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, Happy pinging.